Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 30th into the 31st, so Tuesday, Wednesday, so October 30th, 31st. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Remember, the timing is fluid. You never know when this is going to happen or if this reading is even for you. This reading is for somebody, not everybody. There's a release. There's a release happening. Somebody, somebody's been holding on to something very, very tightly. Something that they felt was stable and was good for them, but are probably coming to some realization that I don't need this anymore. Yep, somebody is headed in a new direction. They've, they've found the strength within them to release, okay? To let go, move on, take the lead. Deciding, you know, I just want happiness. There's an ending here. There is. There's an ending here. An ending to something that used to be fulfilling. Because that Ten of Cups is a completion. It used to be fulfilling. It used to be really, really good. But there's been a lot of stagnation. And there's been no growth. And it's like... No matter what you do, you can't make the situation change. You may have tried to manifest change, but if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, right? So when you can't make something get better, no matter what you do, there's no choice but to release it, right? There's no choice but to let it go. So we have somebody that is moving on. From a, from a relationship. They're moving on. Somebody has been reluctant to move on, holding on to it for a long time. Staying in maybe even a period of hurt, emptiness, discontent. Somebody had taken a lot of time to think about this and has really taken action to make it change, but no matter what happens, if it's it's not it takes you, you can't do all the work on your own, right? Yep. Yep, somebody is absolutely saying goodbye. I'm I'm done. I'm releasing. I ha I am releasing something that once was dear and near to my heart. Ready to start that new journey, fresh. I'm no longer going to deceive myself or the others involved in this situation. I'm ready to take a risk. On a new beginning. Ooh. Yeah. Action is being taken. It's like I can't even. I don't even want to think about this anymore. I don't. At this point. It's about movement. Somebody's been in an unhappy situation where there's been no growth, right? There's been a relationship, okay? There's been a relationship where there's been no growth. And perhaps their health has even declined because they've given it so much energy. And now it's like, I don't have any more passion or ambition or confidence or strength to 
fight for this relationship on my own. Therefore, I'm deciding to go on my own. Without this, the the magician, the magician, the the fool starts a journey, a new journey with nothing. The baggage is left behind. He takes some of his past life experiences with him, but he doesn't bring all the stuff. So, it looks as though you are saying, I'm ready for my fresh new beginning right now. Somebody has made the decision that I would rather be free than held back by A stagnant situation. An obsession that I was holding on to. This emptiness has made somebody sick. And it's like, no, I can't, I'm not going to do this anymore. Somebody has found the strength to go. I'm going to take the lead and start over. Start fresh. So it feels like there is a new beginning here. Because somebody has realized that they cannot manifest happily ever after with a situation that is going nowhere. Now, because somebody is taking action, mastering their emotions, and doing whatever it takes to head in that new direction and face opposition, there is an opportunity for victory success when you get to where you're going. Wherever you're going, the baggage absolutely is not coming with you with these two cards. The baggage is not coming. The past is not going to be prominent anymore. It's like the past is absolutely being let go. It is. It's like it's not going to be a problem anymore. It's like being released for, for good. And there is a new opportunity for something really abundant and happy when you get to wherever you're going. But let's get some clarifiers here. So I feel like at this point there's a major release. There's somebody has made a conscious decision to drop what doesn't serve them. Seriously, I mean really, really drop it. It's like I'm in charge Goodbye. Goodbye to this heaviness. Goodbye to these burdens. Goodbye to this load that I've been carrying. I'm moving on and I ain't taking that shit with me. I've held on to it long enough. It's caused me emptiness, loneliness, despair. And I don't care about feeling, feeling safe anymore. Yeah, it may have been safe to hold on to what I knew, but I don't care about being safe. I'm ready for my fresh start, and I am ready to take a risk. Yeah, somebody has made themselves sick holding on to a negative situation. Not allowing themselves to to grow and be happy. But has finally come to some sort of realization that 
It's time. It's time for a change. There was no excitement. It's like I've, I've lost all ambition and excitement and passion being deceived by this whole situation. You may have stayed in a situation out of self-deceit or being deceived by another person. This right here is very negative. This is a very pessimistic energy. Maybe you just lacked vision. But it looks like with this fool card, it's like you've refound, you have a new vision. You're ready to take that next step, even if it means that there'll be a little bit of chaos, right? I have to do what I have to do to bring balance back to my life. Somebody has been staying in an unstable, insecure situation. Not seeing things as they are. Refusing to see things as they are. Stubbornly holding on to something that was... Yeah, maybe it was financially stable, but not emotionally fulfilling. And on the outside of all of this, there's an opportunity for love. But you have to get in your chariot and head out of this heavy, burdensome situation that you have been holding on to. On the other side of this unhealthy situation, there is love. Happiness and a new start. Something that is going to be emotionally fulfilling. They just want to see that you have found the strength to take the lead in your own life. They want to see that you are willing to take risks and that you're willing to start over. You may have been tricked into staying in a negative situation. Your mind may have even tricked you. Could have been another person, but the magician reverse is trickery. And you got a Debbie Downer in the mix. Somebody brought you down, right? Oh, the Four of Cups reversed. This is, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm ready. I am ready for emotional fulfillment. Somebody has come to the conclusion that I am love. I deserve love. I want love. And I am going to remove myself from this unhappy situation that is stale, stagnant, and... Going nowhere. I'm going to open my heart to love. Could be even self-love. There's a new beginning in love when you reach your destination. And how do you reach your destination? By not looking back. By not taking that baggage with you. By not allowing yourself to be deceived and tricked. Perhaps by your own mind or by another person. By not clinging to the past. This somebody has been clinging to the past. And it's unhealthy. It's burdensome. It's heavy. Yeah. It may, it may have been safe for you to cling to the past. But clinging to the past... 
keeps you unbalanced. The Six of Swords reversed. Keeps you unbalanced. Keeps you troubled. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Somebody has not wanted to face that struggle. Been resisting this change for quite some time. It's time to stop sacrificing yourself. It's time to stop sacrificing your life for a situation that has made you feel empty and incomplete on the inside. I'm saying the Four of Swords is in her back. I have to look at these. I look at these cards many different ways. But anyway, a negative situation. It's time to see it from the new perspective. And that is exactly what has happened. Somebody has received a new perspective. It's almost like an awakening. Oh my God. You may have refused to wake up for quite some time because you know that was the safe route. It's what you know, blah, 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 blah. And now all of a sudden you wake up. I'm ready. I'm done. I'm moving on. Goodbye. I'm headed towards victory and success. I'm taking the lead. Somebody has found the confidence. To head in a new direction. And you have support. You have support, and this is going to bring the balance and harmony to your life that has been lost because you were hanging on to something that was not healthy. The balance and harmony is going to come back. Right now, you are going through a period of reevaluation, or you have just reevaluated your situation, and you are headed towards balance and harmony because you are taking action. Somebody has had a wake up call and they are now in the process of getting their life back on track and they are taking the steps to release something that was dead. It may have been secure financially or even internally. You may have felt like it was secure because it's what you know. But it was really, really, really unhealthy. And somebody has come to the conclusion that I am done. And I am ready to start fresh on my own and drop this baggage. Goodbye. Goodbye. The decision has been made. And I think it's a firm decision. Somebody has made the decision and it's like, there's no looking back. So I feel like there has been a, a shift and a release. And it's a really powerful moment when you put yourself in that driver's seat and you make the decision to head towards this new beginning, this fresh start without the baggage. It's, it is. Somebody has decide, made that firm, the solid decision to say, nope. I'm done. There is an opportunity for new love here. 
when you get to the other side. You got to keep going. Love's way over here. Love is way over here. You're, you're, you're in the beginning stages of taking the lead, putting yourself in the driver's seat. This, at this time, you are in the driver's seat of your life. And making the decision to take that next step on a new, fresh beginning, a new, fresh start. You're at the very beginning, at the end of all this. You will find the emotional support or love or connection that you worked for, that you headed towards, that you wanted, that you deserve. So I think today is a day of, of saying goodbye. After being stuck, resisting a change because it was comfortable, not knowing what to do, taking action, moving forward, taking a risk to start over elsewhere. Wise leader, you are a beacon for others. You are a leader. You carry a wisdom and radiance that inspires others. Even if you're not always aware of the depth of wisdom within you, it's emerging by leaps and bounds. This is a time to step into your power and take a role of leadership. <laughs> Makes sense. I've said you guys are taking the lead. You're ready. <laughs> I gotta pull this card out. I'm sorry if I can get it. Okay, take a look at this. He's got the reins, right? I gotta come back. This is the time to step into your power and take the role of leadership. You're ready. Grab the reins. Make decisions. It's okay if you're not 100% sure. Make decisions anyway. It's what a leader does. On the journey, it's easy to tell who the leaders are. They have an inner grace and strength that glows from within. Others travel on the pathways that leaders have created. The wise leader holds up the flame as a torch for others in the darkest night. But the leader also listens to the beat of their own drum. Grab the reins of life on your terms. Don't live to please and appease others to the detriment of your own needs. This is not what a leader does. Live without regrets. And this is fucking amazing. Excuse my language. Take a look at the sign I put up today. Oh my God. It's amazing how shit plays out. That is it right there. Don't just be kind to others. Be kind to yourself. That's amazing that I put... That's exactly what this is. It's your turn. You deserve the ultimate love. Be kind to yourself. Take the lead. Do what's right for you. You're in charge. It's in your hands. Take a risk. It's time for your new beginning. Without the burdens from the past. Goodbye.